Hello and welcome to this next Blender tutorial in which we're going to look at creating and modifying objects. So how to add objects to your projects. So when you first start Blender, you're provided with a cube, a lamp and a camera by default. So what we're going to do first is delete the cube object by selecting it, by right clicking on it and then pressing the X key on your keyboard and then selecting delete from the drop down menu. Another feature of Blender is the 3D cursor. Whenever you left click anywhere in the viewing pane, the 3D cursor will move to the point where you clicked. And when you create or add new objects to your project, they will appear wherever the 3D cursor is positioned. So it's very useful if you want to put an object in a particular location, you can just left click and the 3D cursor will go there and then your object will appear on top of it. So choose the front view by pressing one on your number pad and then selecting ortho by pressing five if you're in perspective mode. Press shift and C to center the scene and also to show all the objects on the stage, which can be very useful if you have a lot of objects and you want to see where everything is. So we're going to add an object now from uh, by using the Add drop-down menu at the top of your screen in the Info panel, or simply by pressing Shift-A, that's the keyboard shortcut, and then a drop-down menu will appear wherever your cursor is, and you can select an object from the list. So we're going to choose uh, an object from the Mesh menu, and we're going to select a UV sphere. So click on that, and a UV sphere will be added to our project. UV sphere is, is an object that's made up of polygons, which are basically a series of flat squares connected together. So we can edit the geometry of this object in the object tool section on the left of the viewing pane when we create it first. If the object toolbar is not visible, press T on your keyboard to bring it on screen. We're going to reduce the number of segments and rings of the UV sphere down to 12. If you have too many polygons in an object like this, it takes far too long to render at the end, so it's much better to have as few polygons as you can possibly get away with. Now we're going to add a second sphere by duplicating the first one by pressing Shift and D. Always click the left mouse button to lock in your changes. So we're going to resize and scale the sphere by pressing the S key. When you're resizing like this, if you press Z, X or Y, your scaling will align to an axis. So let's duplicate now and scale the sphere again to create a head. We're building a snowman here, by the way. So the first sphere was its body. The second sphere was its upper body, and now the third sphere is the snowman's head. So we're going to add a new UV sphere by pressing Shift A. Once again, reduce the polygons down to 12 in the object toolbar and resize it much smaller. We're going to create the snowman's eye. Press OR to rotate the sphere and then type minus 90 on your keyboard to rotate the eyeball minus 90 degrees. It's important to know where your object is at all times from both front and side view and also where the front of your object is. So let's reposition the eye now so that it is actually on the front of the snowman's face and we'll add a mouth and some buttons in the same way using the icospheres this time not the UV sphere, so we'll add an icosphere to our project from the Add menu and position it in place for the mouth, duplicate and just move it over a little, duplicate again and create the shape of the mouth like so. And then we can duplicate again, maybe scale up slightly and add two or three buttons to the front of the snowman's body.
Okay, the next thing we're going to do is create one of the snowman's arms. And we're going to create an arm by adding a cylinder object. So in the object toolbar, once you've added your cylinder under the mesh menu, we're going to reduce the number of vertices down to 12. You can only actually change the geometry of an object when you first create it. So this is the only opportunity you have to do this is when you add an object to this to project in the first instance. So we're now going to use the scale gizmo to make the cylinder smaller and longer, like a twig arm. We'll duplicate the cylinder then and press S to scale. And also we'll press Z to make it smaller on the Z axis. We're going to move the finger now by pressing G and we're going to rotate it by pressing OR until it's in the right position. Repeat this process for the other two fingers. Duplicate, scale, move, and rotate. Until all of we have three fingers at the end of our twig arm. We now need to select and move all four of the cylinders we created at the same time. And there's two ways you can do this. The first way is if you right click on each one while holding down the shift key to multiple select. Okay. Or another option is if, if you press B on your keyboard, you can open the box select tool, which allows you to draw a box over your objects and multiple select whatever objects are inside the box that you draw. Okay, we're going to press OR to rotate our four cylinders and G to grab and move them into place so that they're fitting onto the side of the snowman's body. Okay, we'll duplicate the arm now and reposition it on the other side of the snowman. Next, we're going to make a top hat using two cylinder objects and then scaling them for the base and for the top of the hat. So the first one, we will need to flatten that down and position at the top of the snowman's head. And then the second cylinder, we need to expand that upwards for the top of the hat and position that on top of the base that we created. Okay. Now we're going to switch between front and side view to make sure that the hat's in the right place. And Next, we'll create a carrot nose by using the mesh cone. So if we add by pressing shift A, an object to our project, we can choose cone from the mesh menu, and then we'll scale, rotate, and move into position as usual. Check the views front and side, make sure that the, the carrot nose is in the correct position. And then we'll right click on the body and in the object tools, press T if it's not visible, select the smooth option to flatten out all the polygons and make them appear much smoother, obviously, which is the effect we want for a snowball. Okay, finally, to finish off our scene, we can add some colors some simple material colors to our shapes by opening up our materials panel and selecting the object. So for example, if we select the snowman's body by right clicking, and then we can add a white color to this. And then we can do similarly to the top of the body and the head. And then for the eyes and mouth and buttons, we can use a black color. We'll just keep it simple and use flat colors for this. Orange for the carrot nose, gray for the hat, and brown for the twig arms. And finally, we'll just render an image of our snowman just to see what he looks like. Maybe reposition the camera to get a better angle and render it out. And there we go. That was a simple tutorial on creating and modifying objects in Blender.